look, I get it. You just learned React. You want to try a new framework because you keep hearing about all the other stuff out there. So you try Swell. Swell's pretty good. You like the framework, but what about Vue? You try Vue, you build a website by Vue. Vue's also really good. What about HTMX? That's a new one. That's pretty good too. What are you getting at the end of that? The end product of all of that is just lukewarm experience in a few frameworks. What's the end result of all of that? You're an ace of all, but a master of none. I know that's a cliche phrase, but it applies in this context. Here's the truth of the matter. You only need to learn one framework. That's it. Just give me a couple minutes. I'm going to explain it fully to you. And at the end of this, it will make complete sense. Look, if you master just one framework, it doesn't have to be React, but if you master just one of them, you're going to get better job opportunities. You're going to get better results to show to people and you become an expert, not just a user. And why is that? Because frameworks are just tools. That's all they are. They're just a means to an end. Think about the fact that nearly all companies out there are still using outdated or legacy code. Do you know 77% of the internet still uses PHP? PHP has been dead for a long time. Arguably, multiple better backend languages have come and replaced it, especially Node.js. Yet, more than three-fourths of the internet use PHP. And the simple answer is because PHP is just a means to an end, just like Node.js. Everything is just a means to an end, as long as it gets a website out there. Listen, if you just master one framework, you master the entire process. From there, you can expand naturally. If you become very fluent in one framework's front end, you might start trying to work with a backend, with a database, architecture, real projects. You start expanding from where you originally started because you're not jumping between frameworks. You're staying in one lane and expanding in that one lane. Listen, if you spend less time on chasing different frameworks and more time on just becoming a true web developer on one framework, you're going to get so much better results. Look, this is the optimal path. It's up to you. I can't force you. And unless you're burnt out on one framework and you actually hate it, and you have to swap, staying on one framework is just going to yield better results in the long run. If you're also interested in landing a job in the most optimal fashion possible, I do have an online community for new web developers where I teach strategies and methods for getting hired quickly. There's a link in the description if you're interested. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video.